Hello. And how are we doing this morning? I uh, I want to preface this by saying that I I very much think that Jeff Gray is one of the best auditors in the community, and I'm not trying to harsh his gig at all. I just want to kind of pull back the curtain and explain why um, Mr. Gray is under little to no threat of arrest for standing outside of the CCSO carrying a sign that says the CCSO eats ass when the CCSO has arrested someone for resisting arrest, but they were originally going to just cite him for having a sticker on his window that says, I eat ass. And there's nothing wrong with eating ass. I'm just, I just want to put that on the table. The... So the, the reason goes to the test for obscenity. Now, I'm not a huge fan of obscenity laws. I think some things should be, um, should rightfully be um, banned and not protected by the First Amendment. I think uh, child pornography is an excellent example of something that should be banned and is not to be protected by the First Amendment. Uh, not because it's obscene, but because you've got to harm a child to, to make child pornography and, and we should protect our kids. So that's, to me, that's why I'm not, I'm not a, in general, a huge fan of the government saying what is or isn't offensive. However, that said, um, there is, there is a test just like in, in most legal analysis, there are tests to determine if something violates the first amendment. And if, the government is claiming something is obscene, there's a test. It's called the Miller test. And, uh, and we'll go through the Miller test, or at least what I can remember of the Miller test. And, and we'll see why, uh, the guy with the sticker in the back of his window is a lot more exposed to being arrested than, uh, than Mr. Gray. Uh, the first step is a three prong test. God, I hope I'm getting this right. I'm gonna have to watch this video and I'm done with it after I have a chance to look this up. Um, it's a three prong test. And uh, the, first, the first prong is, does the average person in the community, and by the community, they mean the actual, like the community that it's being um, censored in. Um, would the average person in that community find that it appeals to that whatever, whatever it is, appeals to purient interests? The second step, is um, does it depict does whatever does whatever this offensive material is does it depict in a patently offensive way sexual conduct or uh, excretory functions and you can see from those first two that it's that it's really squishy I mean what does the average person think uh, how big is the community? Uh, where do you draw the boundaries of that particular community? Um, what exactly is a purient interest? Um, what is what is a patently offensive manner? I mean, there's just so many, so many, well, it's just a very squishy test, but we haven't gotten to the third prong yet. And the third prong is why Jeff is reasonably safe and the guy with the I eat ass in his, in his window isn't. The third prong of the test is does the work taken as a whole have any serious literary, artistic, scientific, or political, there might be more, but those are the ones I remember, literary, artistic, scientific, or political value. Alps. Artistic, literary, political, scientific. That's right, Alps. Okay, artistic, literary, political, scientific. Does it have any serious political value? Now, having an I eat ass sticker in the back of your window, no real serious political value. Saying the CCSO sucks ass or eats ass or whatever he's saying, that has political value. That is, that is, he's making a political statement. Um, and, and you can also see this in like Cone v. California. Um, saying, saying fuck you has a different political value than saying fuck the draft. 
Um, it's so it's it's that political speech. Once you turn it from just just being about sex, just like indeed ass, which and again, there's nothing wrong with eating ass. I mean, I'm a I'm a big fan of eating ass. Um, nothing wrong with eating ass. But there's there is political value in saying CCSO eats ass. There is not political value in just saying I eat ass. So that's why that's why Jeff Gray's on solid legal footing. That's why the other guy is on less solid legal footing. Now, is the guy with the I eat ass sticker in the back of his window? Um, is he going to be found guilty? I, I don't know. Again, it's a very squishy test. The Miller test is a very, very squishy test. And I don't know what the uh, community values of that area are. I don't know what the average person in that particular area would think is patently offensive. I'm not offended by saying I eat ass. I don't, that doesn't offend me at all. But I don't know what anybody else thinks. Anyway, so I hope that helps. I hope that, that maybe uh, pulls back the curtain a little bit, lets you, lets you see lets you see the solid legal ground that Mr. Gray is on. I, I strongly suspect that Mr. Gray uh, talked to his attorney before doing this and and again, I support uh, I support I support 100% his free speech, and uh, <clears throat> I. But I also want to say that uh, while I support everybody's right to protest, uh, things like that aren't um, they're not determined by protest. the The proper place to determine whether or not something is legal. Whether, it's, whether it violates the First Amendment, you do that in court. If you don't like the statute, you, you go to the legislature. Trying to get the police to not enforce a law that's on the books, that's not the right way to go. It's, it's not the role of the police to determine what they should and shouldn't enforce. The, the, the role of the, of the police is just to enforce the law. It's the role of the judiciary to determine whether or not a law is is constitutional or not, and it is the role of the legislative body to create, amend, and um, repeal laws. So, anyway, uh, that's enough for today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If you didn't, well, I hope you were, you were at least entertained by my ugly mug. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.